the term indemnity literally means security against loss thus an indemnity is an obligation by a person to provide compensation for a particular loss suffered by another person indemnity contract includes two parties namely indemnifier and indemnity holder the person who promises to pay compensation is called indemnifier and the person whose loss is compensated is called indemnity holder for example there is a contract between x and y according to which x has to sell a tape recorder which is selected to y after 3 months on the next day of their contract z has come to x and insisted on selling the same tape recorder to him that is z here z is promising to compensate x for any loss faced by x due to selling the tape recorder to z x has agreed thus the contract which is formed between x and z is called indemnity contract where z is indemnifier and x is indemnity holder indemnities form the basis of many insurance contracts for example a car owner may purchase different kind of insurance as an indemnity for various kind of loss arising from operation of the car such as damage to the car itself or medical expenses following an accident in an agency context a principal may be obligated to indemnify their agent for liabilities incurred while carrying out responsibilities under the relationship while the events giving rise to an indemnity may be specified by contract the actions that must be taken to compensate the injured party are largely unpredictable and the maximum compensation is often expressly limited under english law indemnity is defined as a promise to save a person harmless from the consequences of an act thus it includes within its ambit losses caused not merely by human agency but also those caused by accident or fire or other natural calamities in adamson versus jarvis it was held that adamson has to indemnify jarvis as jarvis was asked to follow the orders of adamson and if anything went amiss jarvis would be indemnified the indemnity holder can call upon the indemnifier to save him from loss even before the actual loss is incurred according to section 124 of the indian contract act 1872 it makes the scope narrower by defining the contract of indemnity as follows according to this section a contract by which one party promises to save the other from loss caused to him by the conduct of the promiser himself or by the conduct of any other person is a contract of indemnity illustration a contracts to indemnify b against the consequences of any proceedings which c may take against b in respect of a certain sum of rupees 200 this is contract of indemnity thus every contract of insurance other than life insurance is a contract of indemnity the definition is restricted to cases where loss has been caused by some human agency jajanan moreshwar versus moreshwar madan section 125 deals with a particular kind of indemnity which arises from a promise made by an indemnifier to save the indemnified from the loss caused to him by the conduct of the indemnifier himself or by the conduct of any other person but does not deal with those classes of cases where the indemnity arises from loss caused by events or accidents which do not depend upon the conduct of indemnifier or any other person moreshwar versus moreshwar